Hello YouTube, this is Shorty1325, and I'm also known as Reef Evo of Reflex and Reflex15 in different games. Um, I just made a Gmod13 easy plane tutorial with an airboat. Not like one of those balloon crappy ones, but actual plane that works. Uh, so if you want to give that a look, if you want to make a plane in Gmod13, go ahead and look at that. It's right on my channel. I just uploaded it not too long ago. And today... I've been noticing some feedback from people and they actually want me to start making more videos. So I am working right now quite a bit of hours on my job so I can't really get that much gaming time in. But I want to make you guys a simple catapult today that will probably take five minutes, not even if you if you know what you're doing. So this is Gary's Mod 13. It will work on 10 most likely but let's get started. So the first thing is we want a big type of pole. So I found that under construction props, just the first construction props tab, and then there's a second row down and it looks like a uh, black pole, but it's gonna be a big statue type dealio right here. So we're gonna want it to launch something in the lake cause I'm just gonna do that. So we're gonna lay it down, shift, if you hold shift and E, it will uh, like a snap. This is just normal E and rotating the mouse. This is shift and E. Okay, so I'm going to... What you want to do is you want to put it close to the ground, like a catapult would be. So uh, around there, that works. doesn't need to be exactly on the ground. You actually probably don't want that. You want it a little bit above, just like that. So we want to get a ball socket uh, constraint tool, which is right under constraints almost at the top ball socket it's called ball, ball socket so then um, this yes this will probably work on gmod 13 there might be more glitches but I'm I did this all the time so you're gonna do you click the bottom left corner it doesn't need to be the exact corner but it needs to be around there then you're gonna click the ground right by it. then you're gonna go to the other side and do the same thing so around the bottom right and then the ground again. So now it's gonna make a door hinge effect almost as you can see. So that's how that that's just the base I guess and then um, I like to lift it up a little bit and uh, put something on the end to hold it. You can use anything like a bathtub or a couch or anything you really want but I like to use um, if I can find it here where is it ah there it is I like to use this uh, garbage bin it is under construction props and it is if you scroll down you don't even have to scroll down actually on the bottom right if you don't scroll down under construction props it's called trash dumpster 02 it is blue and you'll see it <laughs> when you're making this so V is to fly if you're very new at Gary's Mod just put that out there and um, I'm actually going to do no collide so they don't have uh, any glitches when it's rotating up and down so no collide is under other in the tool section and you're gonna click um, just whatever this base and then the thing that you want to launch with. So you're gonna put it on there preferably centered but you doesn't really matter. That'll, see that'll even be good enough. I don't, that doesn't matter. So then you're just gonna weld these two. So the weld tool is under the constraints under tools tab and weld. This welding I don't know if you're new to Gary's mod but Weld, all you gotta do is click one object, click the other, then they're welded together permanently. Unless you have options on there to break it. But uh, we don't need to get into that right now. So, these are now welded. <laughs> so now we got ourselves a little, uh, little catapult action going right there. And to make the catapult launch, we're gonna use thrusters. I'm guessing you would have guessed that. So, my four button my primary I like to use five always no matter what I'm doing in reverse two so to set it you just click the thing and click the numpad five the numpads only work or I advise you to use the numpads 
and then uh, yeah, reverse is two on the numpad. And I like to use, if you scroll down a ways, I like to use these thrusters. They look the best. So um, I like to have no sound because I just get annoyed of that thruster noise right now. And uh, force, I'm going to have it all the way up. And I'm going to put a bunch on the back here. Make sure it's, it's not toggled. I mean, if you know how to use it, thrusters, well, then you can. But I prefer not to toggle this, this, this thing anyways. So just put a bunch on the back. That'll probably work. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. All right. To unfreeze an object, you just look at it and click R or double tap R to unfreeze all. So now I'm going to tap five. Okay, it worked. So then hold two brings it back. Five goes up, two and it goes back. So now this is where the fun begins. You can just put a bunch of stuff in the, you know, good old dumpster here. I guess we could put a few bodies in there for the lols. Uh, yep. Oh, what? No, nah, not NPC. Ah, there we go. Uh, we gotta have G-Man. Get in there. <laughs> And let's have Kleiner in there. And maybe another one. Just for that guy. Sorry about that, that's kinda rough. Alright. Now let's see if it works. I'm holding five. <laughs> and there it goes. Now once you get used to this, it might take you like a minute or two to make. Probably two minutes. It's really easy. Well, Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm probably going to be making more videos. Uh, I planned for my next video to be a noob trap. It's a lot of people did it in Gmod 10, so you're probably familiar with it. But people that are new to Gary's Mod 13 or Gary's Mod in general, I just want to um, to teach them a few things. So I'm gonna do a trap next. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys later.